Hi guys, welcome back to another Bourbon Santa video. Today we're gonna do something that I'm so excited for. Being a bourbon enthusiast, you're always trying to find deeper flavors and, and more nuance in your nosing and tasting experience. So a while back, I had heard of these things called nosing kits. And they're supposed to help you to discern some of those other flavors and aromas that are in whiskey and to, to help you build those patterns in your brain so you can recognize them in the future. Well, most of the bourbon nosing kits that I've seen are pretty expensive. I've seen some three, four hundred dollars. Now, a while back, I saw a guy posting on Instagram. Pretty sure it was Instagram. It's been a couple years. His company is Nose Your Bourbon, and he sells kits like this. These retail for $69, and they come in a nice little plastic case, and inside the case are all these little jars of spices or other things that you might find in bourbon. Now, the honey comes in a little tube like this, and you've got to cut the tube and put it into the honey container. So I guess so it's nice and fresh when it shows up. I got a little bit everywhere. Anyway, so in the kit, we have peanut, oak, cherry, corn, wheat, rye, tobacco, leather, allspice, clove, black pepper, cinnamon, vanilla, caramel, honey, chocolate, brown sugar, and mint. So I thought what we would do today is test out two of my favorites, we're going to go with Woodford Double Oaked and Pikesville Straight Rye. And I'm going to be using Norlin glasses today just to switch it up for fun. And, and we'll see how many of these flavors I'm able to find using this kit in these two whiskeys. Should be fun. Should see, let's see what happens. I'm going to first nose the Woodford Double Oaked and see what I get on my own first, and then we'll go through these and see if I'm finding any of these. <sighs> definitely oak, definitely cherry, definitely vanilla. The tiniest hint of cinnamon, obviously corn, brown sugar, chocolate, Let's test. Okay, so I said oak. Let's verify what we've got so far. I said oak, cherry, corn, of course, a little bit of cinnamon, a little bit of brown sugar, a little bit of chocolate, and vanilla. I said vanilla. Now, let's, let's see. Let's, we'll do vanilla first. Oh, that smells so good. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Vanilla. For sure, vanilla. For sure. Let's go chocolate next. And what they've given you is a dark, it's a dark chocolate powdered. Oh, it smells good. This isn't like normal cocoa powder. This is something else. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Chocolate. Let's go brown sugar. Oh yeah, I don't even have to smell that. <laughs> yeah, extremely light cinnamon. Extremely, extremely light cinnamon. Uh, well, let's let's try honey. Should have said honey to begin with. Corn. Oh yeah, I don't even have to smell that. Of course. Oh, absolutely. Oh my god. So far, I'm loving this kit. In here we have dried cherries. For sure. Absolutely. Absolutely cherries. Of course we're gonna find oak. Oh yeah, the dry, crackly. Yeah. 
Absolutely. We got oak. So, so far... Okay, yeah. I don't get peanut in this one. This is tobacco. No, I don't think so. No, I don't get tobacco. We have leather. And there's actual real leather strips in here. Maybe, maybe a little bit. Maybe just a little bit, a little bit of, of leather. Awesome. Mm, mm, oh, okay. After having nosed the leather and then tasting, I'm getting a little more of that leather on the taste. That's a little weird. I don't usually pick up a lot of leather on wood for double oak. It's not a, a, it's not something that jumps to the top of mind on, on double oak. But clove. There's a little bit of clove. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. <clears throat> Let's check out black pepper. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Maybe. Maybe a touch. Maybe just a touch of black pepper. Cinnamon, all right, we already covered everything for this one that I'm even going to bother with. I, I didn't smell wheat yet. Mm, 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 mm. I don't smell any. Okay, let's move to the rye and see what we get on this rye. Now, okay, now after having already smelled these, I know I'm smelling leather. And I'm, I'm definitely smelling vanilla. Definitely smelling rye. I smell the oak. Okay, I'm smelling clove. I'm smelling allspice. There's a note in here that I would call chocolate, but it's different than this. It's not a dark chocolate. It's going to be a different kind of chocolate. Uh, I'm smelling brown sugar in there, too. Let's see. Are we smelling mint? Maybe a touch. A touch of mint. Maybe just a touch of mint. Absolutely. The rest of these... Yes, of course, of course. Oak. Rye. Duh. Yep, that leather. That's funny. I don't think I would have called a leather note on Pikesville. I don't think I would have said leather going into this. Huh. Vanilla, of course. Vanilla is right there behind the rye, right behind the rye on this one. Wow, I'm really impressed with this kit. Um, I think that this will help a lot of people get over the hump and into tasting actual notes and nosing actual notes instead of just, this is alcohol, this is whiskey, whiskey tastes like whiskey. Getting those little nuanced notes where they can play with it and sit here with this kit and even, you know, could with a pen and paper, write down the notes that you're finding in specific whiskeys. And then you can revisit them time after time and see, okay, am I getting those same notes again? Or when you're comparing two whiskeys, you could use a kit like this to find the similarities or the differences between two whiskeys and and play with it. I think it's awesome. I'm gonna I'm gonna play with this so many more times, especially when I'm trying new whiskeys that I've never had before, new bourbons, and um, I really like this guy to to put out a Nose Your Scotch kit, because I really like to have a kit like this for scotch as well. Uh, this is really cool. I, I really like this kit. $69. He's on Etsy's. It's called Nose Your Bourbon. I, I recommend it, especially if you're struggling to find notes, 
And even someone who can find notes like myself, I found new notes in both of these whiskeys by using the kit. I wouldn't have called leather on either one of these. Um, usually on the double oaked, I, I get so much, yeah, leather. I get so much wood influence that it kind of overrides that. So much wood, cherry, and, and vanilla, it kind of overrides everything else. And on the Pikesville, I get the rye, the big rye and evergreen notes that kind of overpower the smaller things. And by using the kit, I was able to find a few more notes in both of these uh, whiskeys. So I'm super excited about that. That's awesome. Anyway, if you're down, get one, test it out. Let me know what you think of it in the comments. Uh, check out my Facebook page, Bourbon Santa at Facebook. And uh, also on Instagram, The Bourbon Santa on Instagram. I post on Instagram sneak peeks before my videos, before I start shooting, of what my video is going to be about. I also post on Instagram my bourbon hunting, my finds. I post them there before I post them anywhere else. So go check out both of those places. We've reached a thousand subs here on YouTube. So I'm in the middle of planning a pretty fun giveaway for my subscribers. So like, comment, subscribe. I'll talk to you again soon. Until next time, have a great day. Cheers.